Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, welcome back to Crucial Classics, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Take a look around, binge us. We have plenty of content available for you to take a look at. I've got it organized for you um, by decade, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, silent, and directors as well. Um, I think that if we got into splitting it out by actor, I don't know that I would have enough room on my homepage to really set all of that up. <laughs> But we definitely have um, a lot of things going on by actor, including today's title. I was looking back at my channel upload inventory. And relatively speaking, it hasn't been long enough. <laughs> Has not been long enough, if that's a thing, right? Um, since we had a Humphrey Bogart title. But again, you guys know where I'm at. I'm back to having to be working 40 hours a week outside of more than 40 hours a week that I was putting into this passion, dream, life, living the dream project my YouTube channel, that I have been able to be full-time focused on all of this year up until the end of July. Um, two things I have to spit out that my sister just tells me to be minded of. What did she tell me? Okay, I have to say to you guys, please make sure that you subscribe, please make sure that you like the content that you like, and I always just add in, be minded of that on this unique platform of YouTube compared to TV, right? In a way, it is like, oh, get onto YouTube, you find your little TV channel that you want to subscribe to because you constantly kind of want to watch that person's content, but it's totally different than over the air um, TV in that you have these abilities to be engaged. And so definitely that thumbs up that you can just give, consider it a virtual tip, but be minded to take that mentality across the platform, videos that you like, especially from your smaller individual YouTube channel content creators. That's very helpful. That is a way that it signals kind of YouTube to help push your content out to more people. Um, they can see, hey, this is content that people enjoy. Let's recommend it to more people. Share the videos. I know this I haven't asked you guys enough to do, but in the past, you've done it a lot. In the past, I have been one of the hundreds of people on YouTube that simply uploaded the movies for viewing. No me involved in the process. You guys would constantly take my movies and share them, add them into your playlists of here are great movies to watch. Um, and that really always helped out my channel when I could land just that cross helping each other out when you could put me into things that you recommend. Uh, I would still ask you to do that, right? Like, I am still all legit. It's all about the classic movies. I am legit. Got 31 years of experience underneath my belt. I know what I'm talking about when I speak to you guys about these movies. But yeah, that sharing could definitely really help out our channel. Um, what is it? Like, subscribe, share, turn on your notifications. It just helps you to be aware. Now that I've kind of had to pare back my ability to be focused on this as my work, um, with those notifications on, it would just show up as a new upload for you without you having to navigate. The thing when people really tell you to turn on the notifications, it just kind of takes it away from you having to bother to navigate back to your channels. Um, a little, the, it's like the little blue icon shows up on your subscription little profile pictures. A little blue dot shows up and that lets you know that they've just uploaded some type of new content that you could come over and check out. So. Here's the other thing that she told me to do, and I told her that I have already done this one time, and she's like, well, keep on doing it. I think it's helping you out. I have a different channel, absolutely not on brand with this. Totally 100% different type of content, but I have mentioned it to you guys. You are the only people that I have ever verbalized that I have this other channel, and my subscriber count has increased. I have like a 300% increase in my subscriber count on my other channel. I have a channel about dreams. Um, I'm very into dream interpretation, uh, have been doing that also for 20 years, and I just, for two years as a hobby, I have had this channel that just gives you the definitions of various symbols that you may ever experience in your dreams. Very sacred, it's nothing, you know, that you need to feel like, oh, you know, no, they're historical, kind of typically more the very across the board understood meanings of dreams. That's, dreams are a sacred thing. So I have a video uh, channel that is dedicated to, it's called Dream Meanings. I kept it real basic, real simple, so you can um, see I have now a little just spot for that on my homepage on my YouTube channel, letting you know here's, here's my other channel. Um, but like I said, in two years, you people are the only ones that I ever said, hey, I have a dream meanings channel. 
and since I said that in a video very recently here, I just cannot believe what is happening on that channel. I feel like it's finally going to turn into something that I might be able to get that totally up and running with monetization too. Like, that's what I'm... So my sister was just like, say, you got to say things. You have to communicate what you need your people to know. Like, I think as content creators, we can sometimes get a little too lax in thinking. I always have this little animation that plays that says, subscribe, like, share, turn on your notifications. But I don't verbalize that because I rely on it being on the screen. And it's just, I think there's always more. It lands better when you hear it come from my mouth. So... That was just a tip, my sister. You know, it's hilarious. She has a little five-year-old son. He's getting ready to turn five in just a couple of weeks. And she says whenever she's playing with him, he's always pretending that he has his little YouTube channel. So he, he knows the language at five. He's like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. So that's the reason why she was telling me. <laughs> make sure I verbalize that to you guys each time. Okay, so today's title, The Treasure from the Sierra Madre. Let me look it up in the book. This is what I'm so excited about is I haven't seen this movie this year because I have a spoiler alert. I think I did maybe five or six movies that I classified as spoiler alerts. What did that mean? I knew when I was starting this channel, this iteration of this channel, I said, in the past, I've only uploaded the movies for you. In this iteration, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do that. And I knew, very familiar with the titles that you can never upload onto your upload channel on YouTube. So those movies, I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna give you guys these movies. I'm gonna walk you through them. I'm gonna talk you through them. I'm going to spoiler alert them for you. This one, by far, is my favorite one that I did. This movie is so freaking hilarious to me. I know it is not in the category of a comedy, but it is freaking hilarious. And you cannot tell me that there are not <laughs> elements and the ways that scenes in this movie were shot <laughs> where you are not supposed to be cracking up laughing as you are experiencing this, okay? So it is definitely like a combination of comedy, action, adventure, drama, you know, suspense. It's an amazing movie. And as long as my time is not so much my own, and if I still am on fumes, I'm exhausted. I don't feel any more energy than I did last weekend when I told you guys, hey, I'm not gonna be able to do it this weekend. It's like, you know what? This is my dream job, though. You guys are continuing to subscribe. I'm continuing to do great on the monetization, so I just have to continue to put my fume level of energy <laughs> into this because I'm really just doing what I have to do right now, really trying to be able to grab back my resource of time to be able to be back in being able to pay my resource of time to this channel. I just want you guys to understand this is my dream job. I found my dream job as I've had to be doing something different. It has been so clear to me the fulfillment level that one seeks in life was definitely accomplished and achieved here by doing this channel. So did I show you the wall of the living room? I do believe I did, right? Um, I just recently did a little info video again just really breaking down what we do on this channel and explaining the reason why you don't see the copyrighted material on the screen with me like is the format on just about everybody else's um, movie reaction channel. I think I'm probably the person, and anybody else that does it like me, that has it figured out that we're in the safer territory doing it the way that we do. So if you need to kind of just get an understanding about that, check out that video. It's a very informational breaking it down why we do things the way we do here, but let's just also continue with what we do here. So we watch movies together from start to finish from the golden age of Hollywood. That is definitely our niche. You know, if, if everybody's telling you you gotta find a niche, a niche, a niche, how do you pronounce it, right? Um, ours is classic golden age of Hollywood films. We will watch Silent, that's the 20s, right? 30s, 40s, 50s, we get into the 60s. We have some things from the 70s, um, but yeah, we watch them. <clears throat> I comment, you're pushing play on your copy of the movie at the exact same time as me, so we're in perfect sync. You have to bring your copy of the movie. If I'm putting a video as a watch along up on my YouTube channel, I have to be on brand, I have to be on mission, which is I'm not leaving you guys hanging, I'm not leaving you guys behind. You have to be able to watch along. This is a watch along movie reaction channel. You have to be able to watch the movie with me. So guess what? If I'm uploading a watch along on this channel, that's because I've got you covered on ways that you have access to the film. When f no fail way is if I see that the movie is available over on Amazon, I provide you a link to be able to access it in their streaming capability. So that's a one-time rental, or if it's a crucial of enough classic and you're building up your collection, there's an ability to buy it. I have plenty of movies that I've purchased on the cloud-based um, locations. A lot of coin I have spent on movies in these cloud-based locations. Um, but, you know, I'm not just trying to have it be that type of an experience for you guys. So I have this, this was my job for all of 2022 until the end of July. I, you know, I'm working. I gotta find access to these movies. I landed on a jackpot source of the movies, the place where I can share that exact, everything about that location where 
you have the ability to push play on the movie with me is on our sister Pinterest site, okay? There, in every video, there is a link that takes you over to our Pinterest page. Because for every movie, I create a standalone board for the movie. And in the board, let me just, I know I do a combination of animations on screen and myself, but let me show you what the board is an equivalent of. The board is the equivalent of this wall of my living room because I just fill up the board with pictures from that movie. That is so much fun for me. You guys see, I obviously love film photography, right? I chose to decorate my home with it. So I will search out pictures from these films. In those boards, every board, since I have started watching movies from this location that I have found, in each board for each movie, I put information in there that lets you be guided to where you can access a copy of the movie if you need it. But here's what we do on this channel, people. We watch crucial classics. If you're an OG, do you own your own copy of the movie. Leave me out of where you're getting your copy of the movie. I'm just making it a part of the mission and the goal that I'm not leaving you behind. So I have always been holding your guys' hand on how to access the films themselves. Um, but again, you know, leave me out of it just because it's a place where I see it. You may already have access to it in 50 other places. And trust me, that is really how accessible these films are. So, but either way, you're covered with being able to have access to when I say playing in three, two, one, click, we are both pushing play on the exact same runtime version of the movie, okay? So um, ways to go about watching this movie with me, the ideal is everything on one screen. The reaction of me, your copy of the film, one screen. Ways that I know easiest to do it, two tabs. You pull the movie into a tab, me into another, they lock side by side, boom, you're in sync, they're right next to each other. This is more the option for when you might not have connectivity capability, casting capability, because once you get that set up on the tabs, you take an HDMI cable from that device and you plug it into your biggest screen TV so that you just got that very nicely, very large. Um, if you have casting capability, specifically on this video of me, no fail, is the play on TV button, picture in picture, shrinks me down, you float me into a corner, a spot on the movie, you're watching the movie full screen and me up in the corner, and really that's the intention. That is the ideal and the intended way that you're doing it. We are supposed to be watching the movie as big as it can be, and me, just your little comrade, crack it up as I am talking crap throughout the movie. If you choose to flip that and you have picture in picture ability on your film, then you move the film into the blank space on the screen that I will be maintaining for you here. As soon as I say playing in 3, 2, 1, click, I launch a runtime timer in the bottom corner if anything ever happens and you just need to pause both things, something gets out of whack. You look and see what does this time say. You get your copy of the movie to this hour, minute, and second, and then we're back in perfect sync. Okay, I also have a member site that I'm growing. I'm taking my time on doing that, but it is up and running. What we have is titles that are exclusive over there, and then every upload that's on this channel is over there, because guess what? It'll always be ad-free over there. If that is also, I know, the ideal way to do the watch alongs is with no ads. So I give you the ability to have access to all of the titles on here. Plus, there are probably 10 more titles that are only over on our uh, member site, because I didn't bother to re-upload them onto this channel when I had to change the format to not having the movie on screen, which is that previous video that I just told you I created for the channel. Check that out. So definitely hop over, take a look at that member site. I give you unlimited access to everything that's on that site. Packages start at $5 a month. That is very reasonable and it's a great way that you guys could continue to show me some support. So let me look up what the movie is about and then let's just get started watching it. Okay, I can't look at you because I cannot see you through these glasses without really hurting my eyes. It's from 1948. Hold on, I do just need to make sure I'm on screen. Okay, I love it. He gives it four stars. Absolutely. Okay, it's directed by John Houston. That's his name. Humphrey Bogart, Walter Houston. That's John Houston's father. Um, and Tim Holt. And he's definitely who you might not know by name, but he is definitely a key core a part of that trio of Bogart, Houston, and Tim Holt. Excellent adaptation of B. Traven's tale of gold, greed, and human nature at its worst. That is perfect. With Bogart, Houston, and Holt as an unlikely trio of prospectors. That's fair to say, too. John Houston won Oscars for Best Direction and Screenplay. Yes! And his father, Walter, won as Best Supporting Actor. I would not have known these things. That's John as an American tourist in the beginning and young Robert Robert Blake selling lottery tickets. Okay, I don't necessarily know who that is. Also shown in a computer colorized version. Oh my gosh, Robert Blake. Um, I know, that's the little Mexican boy. Okay, guys, because I'm telling you, if you want to just really be cracked up by this movie, <laughs> listen to my spoiler alerts. Guys, those are a podcast format. So that's just, you're doing your work, you're at your desk, you have me in your ear, and you're not having to be distracted by needing to focus to the movie on screen. You're just hearing it being spoken to you. Um, I did one for this movie. It is absolutely freaking hilarious because every part of this movie, there is not like a, a section of this movie that does not contain straight comedy to me. So, um, yeah, like, 
I, I'm not going to be infusing this watch along with as much detail as in the spoiler alert because the spoiler alert also kind of lengthens the amount of time that we're about the film. Um, but yeah, definitely check that out. It's hilarious. Let me get it launched up and we will do our countdown. Okay, here we go. My run time, two hours and 58 seconds. Playing in three, two, one, click. Oh my gosh, so ominous sounding, right? What a very basic little intro run we have here. Is it a low budget movie? I cannot believe that uh, Houston wins best director and screenplay by John Houston. Okay, he wrote it too. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> I love Bogart. <laughs> Did I miss the, oh, Max Steiner does the music. Okay, perfect. He must have worked a lot with Warner Brothers. Directed by Houston. All right, so 1925. Like, you have to catch this movie from this initial second to really get that feel of when in time is this crap taking place. And there we go. Bogart, yes. Let's get to work. So, what? He was looking at the lottery ticket results, and he didn't win. So he is broke as a joke obviously in Mexico because it didn't it say Lotterio Mexico or whatever oh so he's just begging and playing the lottery trying to get by and he was really trying to get that before this little boy did so this is his job he just searches out fellow Americans Asking to be staked to a meal. Look at him. So he paid no attention to the face of that man. But he's been able to get a new fresh pack of cigs. Had him a little tin plate full of beans. You know, he just had some beans. <laughs> this is Robert Blake. Yeah. Robert Blake. I. Oh, he ain't done. <laughs> oh, he did it to him. You know, we know who Robert Blake is. You can tell by his face. Okay, so this is what he does. Okay. Child abuse. Um, three weeks. So this is how he tries it. He's planning to be in this predicament for another three weeks. Just putting however much you put on a lottery ticket. Hoping for that to be his fix out of this situation. Here is this vagrancy park that I was speaking about. It, it, isn't that what it would seem it is with this dude right here? Middle of the day. Lounge down. Oh, he could tell he was an American. It's interesting the way he just speaks to him and offers him a cigarette right away, huh? Seems kind of generous. He couldn't get another job from an American if he took matters into his own hands to get enterprising. So again, he has no idea that he already got squared up. Look at how he's not looking. 
And look at how he, what is this issue with this money that he does get? Look, oh, this fool's looking at him. He ain't paying no kind of attention. Didn't say thank you. And look, oh, this time he went to go get it. It's so fresh and clean. Look at him. That is the way that his dome is styled right now. I needed to know what is the time frame of this movie. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's too clean right now. Look at him. Yes. Laying it down. Fried that and laid to the side. Look at him. He's very impressed. <laughs> Yes, so, okay. <laughs> His hat's gonna fit different now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is he gonna put the hat on? <laughs> Look at. <laughs> oh, well. His little crusty hat on his freshly cleaned head. Oh yeah. Look at her. Is she gonna look back over her shoulder? Yeah, cover on that. Oh. Oh. He's reading him. Okay. Okay, so he's getting a peso at a time, but obviously it's enough for him to spend the day. Oh, does he want a job? Versus the peso a day that he, well, no, actually, probably about four pesos a day that he begs. That person in the shadows there is, thought we were supposed to pay attention to that. I was aware of my surroundings. Oh, there they are. Don't they recognize each other? It seems like they kind of just don't care because they are both just minded to have started working about their lives instead of being vagrants. That's what they were doing. Now, clearly this is hard work that they're doing. And look at the OSHA non-compliance. Look at this! And people, you know, I've just told you my history in HR. <laughs> Safety... Oh my gosh. I mean, he was just lifting that beam with his arm over his head. Now he's got to rely on his arm strength to be able to get back down. Well, okay. Right? Oh. Here, here, here. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> what a fast talker. Okay, so we're on the ferry now. They're coming back. Let's see the money exchange hands. 18 hours a day, 130 in the shade. There is no shade, no safety protocols. Oh, what could you do with money out here? So I ain't going to give you none of it until we're right here. Okay, check him out. Look at how he's... Oh, he's gonna act right now. Oh. Oh, 
it's 1.45 and I'll be there in no more than an hour and 15 minutes. Now it's 7. powder. Now I know what that means. You always hear people say powder in these old movies. Take some powder. Oh, they drank a lot of beer all day though, huh? Oh, so, okay, are they heading straight over to this place where they can get a cot? <laughs> They saved enough of their little... What did he give him? Like $10? Nice little shelter. So they are partnered up already, right? Here comes Houston. the old timer. Or teeth. <laughs> Look, why is he all up in the conversation already? Bogart's gonna jump in real quick, huh? <laughs> I can see how this screenplay. Look, who is talking to you? Oh, he's already drunk. Oh, okay. Right? It, right here, telling the story. Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say like what would make Houston tell this story but it's based off of a novel So, okay, because I was like, why does Bogart button into this conversation? He's already kind of drunk. I mean, they weren't thinking about gold before. Look, yeah, yeah, gold. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's very detailed reminder. Dobsy, you're safest sitting right here on this bench with your little mentality as it is on the bench. Oh, oh, he recognizes them. He sees them already. This fool has to be aware of his surroundings. Many people as he scams.
He has business with them. Oh, where have they been? <laughs> Fast talker. This scene right here is everything. Oh, look at how cleaned up he is. They were friends. Put the bottle on the bar. Look at him. Oh! <gasps> That's dangerous. I mean, he's trying to do damage. If you got hit in the face with a glass bottle, like... <gasps> And that was Bogart, wasn't it? Bogart always be getting kicked in the face in his movies. And the double, like you can totally see that's not the same man. <laughs> Hair color is different. <laughs> okay, he brought this on himself. I know he did not start this fight by breaking a glass bottle across Holt's face. Look at everybody. Everybody's like this. Oh, does, it, does he kick him in the face? Right now? Oh, look at the wad he's about to pull out. I'm talking about how he's going to straighten him up. Right, <laughs> he can't see. Okay, all the rest. Would it? I mean, who called? <laughs> the use of it. Okay. Okay, oh. I was gonna say, has it been weeks since they just got this 300 off of that dude? But no, they're cleaning their wounds. Okay. Okay. And 25. Okay. Way about going about your YouTube channel from scratch. That's a smart thought, right? Yeah. Okay. We'd have to put him on our backs. Oh. And he got an Oscar. Yeah. Here's old Robert Blake. Look, look, look. So, he's not a little Mexican boy. Right.
<laughs> so now all of a sudden, perfect timing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we do? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Look at him. What I want to know is what did John Huston's mother look like? Because isn't that amazing? We have already seen John Huston. He's the dude in the white suit. And this is his dad. Okay. Okay. There's just, I don't see the resemblance between them, right? Like, John Huston is such an interesting, unique looking man. I mean, he really gave his features to Angelica Huston, right? Okay, I want to pay attention to this. So here come all these bandits. Why did the train stop, though? They were not doing this right away. And are these the only ones returning fire to them? Inside of the train, yes, huh? Everybody else is staying down. And praying. And now the train's moving again. It's so it's did they have some type of obstruction on the tracks, but why is the train moving again? That dude, that's Ramon from the big country. soldiers. Look, he's right back to it. Jefatura <clears throat> Municipal. Oh, they have their little brand. Look at Bogart. <laughs> he does not understand. Love to hear it, Hall Tales. Alright, so that's what that dude told them on the train. Like, as they come into a train station, the engineers have already made sure if there's gold right near that location. So if they want to find it, they have to go farther than any surveyor has already checked. And where they're going, very few outsiders have ever been because of all these tall tales about the lions and tigers and bears on my own. They are going by foot. Mostly, you're just walking. They were gonna have to strap this old man on their backs. I love this part. <laughs> Look at how sweaty he is. Oh, but that the old man is not pulling his um, donkey burrow.
<laughs> What's our hurry? <laughs> Look at him climb, will ya? <laughs> oh wow, he's part goat. That, I mean, that is a steep incline. <laughs> See, now check this out. They were thinking of going on their own. And check out how dumb they try to confirm this. This is just... The... Look at this, look at this, look at this, people. No, 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 no. Look at how far away from that little municipal station or they are this pouch is their supply stop it okay 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 I, okay, so they found a spot that they saw some gold, but the water location to wash it off was 11 miles away. I would never heard him say that part before. Okay, and then this little dust storm. A norther, okay. Okay, uh, did we hear what he said right there? It wasn't really worth having that dialogue in that scene. <laughs> I like this part. <laughs> a few more miles? This is like rainforest. They have gone a long way on foot, right? They were in the desert, now they're in the rainforest. <laughs> yeah, they are in the rainforest in Mexico. Only a few more miles of this. There he goes, bringing his own burrow. Yeah, it is the rainforest, so it's raining. Look at this. I love this. I love this part. Oh. Look <laughs> how these fools are passed out. <laughs> he is tearing it up. Okay, um. People be getting. Do they flavor it? Is it a is it a pleasant experience? My grandparents used to make pinto beans, but they would hook it up. Oh oh. <laughs> okay, wow. He's living his best life. And they look I love this is my part. <laughs> Um, what about dogs? Okay. 
Okay, well. He's just reading them. Okay, start to explain why you're doing your little jig right now. Okay, everybody's lost it a little bit. He knows all the ins and outs. How does it feel to be men of property? Where are they getting this water from? Is the tank full yet? Yeah, they're pumping this water in from someplace? That's a key part of wherever they've set this up is they have access to a water supply. Because this for sure is not their drinking water supply, right? Like they just have to have this water available for just this purpose. So this is it. They're cleaning it out so they can get their little gold dust and then they bag it in. Oh. He just read him the way he looked at him. Oh, look, oh, oh. Think about it, you will. Right. <laughs> oh, now look at how close they're going to watch this part. I better not get a speck more in anybody's bag than the other, right? Look at them. Look at his eyes. 
And look at the difference in Bogart's dome from the day he got it all laid down. Her. What's he, um, a freaking out about? You could tell he's got a problem. This isn't quite that part. Um, check him out. From right about here. Dobbs. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he kind of started to rush, but he sure did stop right there. Huh? Look at, oh. Oh, curtain. Oh. Okay, he's a better person than that. Oh, it's only going to need to get split up two ways. Wow. Do is Dobbs alive still? Anyway, even if you do come and look for him. <laughs> Opposed to just leaving him in there. He got knocked out or... And you almost got left in there, too. <laughs> Barely. Oh, don't... Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Oh, he just wants to make sure nobody's checking for him. Land's a good idea. Curtain's a mostly nice man, huh? He got tempted. Oh, look at them. And even if it is, it needs a cover on them just to be a cover on. Look, look. The old man. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that they came to the old man sooner than this, but. Okay, yeah. Oh. 
yeah, look, look. Okay. I, I. Half. Oh, okay. And it was. Oh, okay. But it wasn't going to matter at first. Oh yeah, because here's your little 200 back plus interest. Oh, now he's going to do Maureen O'Hara about it, burn it out. Oh, okay, it was the principal. Ooh, ew. What was that? That was definitely something to wake up for. Oh, and the old man's gone. Why? In the middle of the night. Am I enough on the screen? <laughs> oh, curtain's a heavy sleeper. Who's the old man? I. Look at the old man, the way that he's dressed though. <laughs> I cannot believe this passed the code in 48, whenever. The 40s. <laughs> they always have robes in these movies. What did he say? Nothing's up. Oh. Right, the old man started it. Uh, he's poking around out in the dark. Fool, what were you doing at first? Oh, here's Dobbs. He totally missed Curtin. Oh, now where's Curtin? Rock? Is that his pillow? Is a rock? Oh, here he comes. We you got your gun ready on him? Damn! And look at him. He's coming back in with his gun still out, too. started it. You know it's ripe in their little tent. Oh. Oh. You ain't gonna catch him sleeping. Ooh. This is the scene. It was like, who are you talking to? Oh, look at him. Frenzy Dobbs. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's going to go ask him what's his problem. Oh, this is how they bring water up to their little tank. Oh. Hmm. Oh, 
so okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, so he's just, you need to think whatever you think. Ain't nobody gonna talk you out of your little foul, toxic, projecting intentions. Behind what's going on, check out the Gila monster right there. Ew! I... Dobsy. Projecting. Okay, but now I gotta start talking shit about what the Gila monster is. Oh. But go ahead, because you'll be yellow. Oh, okay. Ah. <gasps> oh. Okay, he got the gun. That little thing was trained to wag his tail. Huh? Oh, so this fool came in. What's his name? Curtain. Oh, they had to switch up that plan, huh? Because Dobbs had to rehide his money somewhere, and and they needed these supplies. So Curtain just needed to hurry the hell up and come on down and get this shit. I wonder how often they do it. Cause he was ready to stay up there. Dobbs was ready to stay up there for a year. Check out this little look at how immediately he's recognized. That's Mildred Pierce's husband. Bandoleros. Look at how you see Curtin. Where is that other dude is? Yeah, you can see them like a head above the rest of everybody. I love that Malton gives this movie four stars. It is really, really good. Better director, screenplay. Act supporting actor Houston. Okay, and that was Carden wanted that to be the end of the conversation. Check out this one. Okay, um, this is a very one-sided conversation, yeah? Uh, check them out.
lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Oh, he didn't, dude. Okay, Wolfo, what are you hanging around this little village for? Well, why don't you go? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But if you can recognize where Paydirt is and you can already tell it's up in that mountain, why don't you just take your ass up there and go get it then? Instead of talking shit and prying into this man's business. Oh, look how he's grabbing one of his bags of supplies. Like, what, what are you waiting for if you know exactly how to find it? No. Yeah. Oh, is he going to give the guys of standing there watching him walk away with his burrows? Does he basically have to walk to get all the way back up to their little camp? Oh, he's getting healthy beans. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, toss for because he's right. <laughs> like the flow of this movie. And it's like, where? I still couldn't see him for a little bit. Oh, look, there goes Dobbs. I mean, Dobbs went straight to um, ending him. And we got a toss for it, though. Oh. Ew. Not welcome at all. Beware the dog. <laughs> we don't want you to cook. <laughs> That's right. Oh, really? Uh, oh, he's not a real hunter. Ground, you say? Uh, this dude is bold. He hasn't sensed the danger that he's already in by himself. He's really far. Look at Bogart. Right? Ooh. 
Oh, he's done real quick, huh? Oh, he got a little bit of height on him. That dude is really bold. Um, he's gonna come up and start talking shit about how here you guys are. You have to have found gold, and so now I'm here too. Look at ooh, look. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the ooh, that's the way to get knocked out by Bogart. He's very touchy about name calling her. Mm -hmm. Well, if you are going to survive until tomorrow. Mm. This screenplay, huh? Oh, he's given three options. Okay. That's the first scenario. Is he on the second option now? Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Well. well, damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, they need to talk about it. He came out and knocked that fool out because he took some of their water right away. He was ready to fight right after he woke up. Oh. Let's put an ad. Put an ad in the paper. Oh, okay. I mean, is it a problem if he isn't? Oh, yeah, Curtin. We ain't heard from you. Look at him. I thought you were a good person, Curtin. Oh, the old man. Look at the old man. Do they show him more on his own? This is crossing a line. This is crossing a line. 
about the gold. All of this for the gold, huh? So he couldn't just start digging on his own little setup. Yeah, they took the first scenario or the sec or the okay, they had a number. What do we see y'all? Okay, that's a lot of people. They're bandits. The bandoleros. And you know what they gotta do? I gotta eat some beans. <laughs> and then they better eat some beans too. Oh, okay, so they're taking down their camp. Traveling kind of quick, huh, yeah. Now look at these fools are so serious about the beans, dude. <laughs> beans and coffee. Um, now, we're going to really get a good idea of how poor their hiding spots are. Okay, because, look, Dobbs is, like, right there. He's really got to be down. This fool's hat. But I feel like Dobbs is even closer. I mean, look at Dobbs. Okay, Dobbs is barely even down beneath his rock. <laughs> and that I think have they already seen him okay so here they start to come one of them was already starting to walk over towards these holes Look, Harry keeps coming, and there's Dobbs. Oh, he called out. Stinking batches. Stinking batches. <laughs> yeah, right. I I did he shoot through his sombrero? not I'm gonna leave with just oh they all they saw was him yeah here they come they won't play games
Ah! Uh. Okay, somebody else shot, right? They just split up, though. Yeah, they weren't leaving. I... And we'll see how good of a shot only that Dobbs is right now. Okay. The old man is a sharpshooter. Huh? Is Curtin not able to reload? good shot with his little teeny tiny gun but he's got a Dobbs has this type of range <laughs> and the old man is hitting his targets I was like oh, I, was gonna say, I shot this video Oh, do they need to have more beans? Um. Curtin has to go take a look. Mm. Dang! Curtin is really raising himself up. There's no way that he should not have been shot. Mm, 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 mm. This is hilarious to me. Like in the cartoon, so they're just gonna start creeping along with their little barricades, and you won't be able to tell where to shoot. <laughs> and he said he would give his whole share of the gold to have what a grenade. Excuse me. Um, vamos, muchachos. Why? I thought I was going to have a salad with this spaghetti, too. I'm getting very full. I had an apple already and my trail mix. Oh, there they are running away. Huh? That is the actual Federalist. <clears throat> He's introduced himself to Kurt and Cody.
I forget who is it is that can barely read him. They find a letter. Huh? That was cute. And the music, huh? Oh. That's all this fool does. He's in Mexico. His family's in Texas, if you really mean it. It is worth... Oh, so he'll be gone for a long time. Oh, so that's what they do. I grew up, we had two apple trees in our backyard. They didn't give apples every year, but whenever they did, it was a lot. I had a, a really big backyard growing up, quarter acre, not, you know, but it was huge. And we had lots of trees. We had a big walnut tree too. We never got any walnuts because the squirrels would always grab them. That tree was huge. Like the sh shortest branch on it was way over our head. trying to do 25 okay why uh I like why the rush oh sustainability decided to do a good deed just for the sake of it being the right thing to do. So, okay, they were talking shit to each other. I thought that they landed on only 25, so they had upped it to trying to get 40 apiece. And now they have got about 35 apiece. They should all be set. In an ideal world, there should be no upcoming problems, right? Each has his own share. They seem to be on better terms than when the Gila monster. Right, they already know that. So they each have two burrows a or three. They have a lot of burrows apiece. Okay, the movie really could be over now, right? Why do there have to be ongoing issues? Oh. They let that dude play. They don't tell him to stop. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, I don't agree. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Oh, come on, no. <laughs> yeah, mind your business. You could have said it like that. Right, okay, so he ain't doing that. I don't believe that that need was necessary either. 
But if you want to give yours, give yours. Okay, here's the problem. <laughs> in the spoiler alert, I told you guys, what is that little weapon that he has in his hands? What is that thing called? A scathe? A scythe? A shank? A shiv? He said, can we talk to you for a little while? I'm poquito a little bit. I feel like he said, can we sit and talk with you for a little bit? Sintir. Siéntate. I feel like my mom would say that. Siéntate. Sit now. Sit yourself down. That's what I like about the Indians. So these are native Mexicans, right? The indigenous. Because Mexican is also when you're a combo of the indigenous and Spanish, right? But you can be just really more of the indigenous where you don't even speak Spanish. So one of the Mexican ladies that I used to work with, I've told you guys, they told me about Mezcal. She would go to Mexico. She came back with a little bracelet one time and she told me she bought it from the indigenous people. They don't even speak Spanish. Obviously, they do. Vivir, we don't know if he's alive. Help us, could you come and help us, please? this part though. Okay. <laughs> He's such a little angel, this little baby. He's little. The whole village is there for him. the time little kids are so little like that because they don't eat enough. I remember when I was that age my grandparents would be telling me come on eat more eat more and I was little teeny tiny bone thin like that too. Oh damn tequila. We're really trying to revive him. Is that a hot or cold? A cold compress, a hot compress? Just looking to see if he's breathing. Is it respirto? Uh, like, wake up. There's another movie that I have in Spanish. Um, Under the Same Moon. Oh my gosh, people, that's such a good movie. It's kind of in Spanish and mostly in English. And this little boy, he's trying to wake his grandmother, and I feel like he says that respirto, respirto, whatever. Oh, he's coming too. Does he spit out water? Was 
Jones, Riss, Huerta, I don't know why I'm tripping about that word. How cute. Something like thanks to God, right? Adios. Did he even say respierta? Adios. Oh, he's a medicine man now. I like this whole scene. Does he make it back to them? Do we see him with these guys? Oh, his boy scout tricks. That's true, huh? Oh, they have horses. It didn't seem like they came up on those at first, though. To them. Uh, stay with us a week. He's for a week. Saints in, yeah, in cielos, in the sky. Oh, <laughs> no put air, we're not able, no put air. Oh, we, y'all aren't important. Is that what Bogart had in mind? I, Bogart was awfully... Oh, why don't you go? Oh, that's what you get. Yeah. Something's up. Easy to dress, feed, and entertain. Okay, yeah, no, Bogart was a little too pleasant and quick to suggest that he go with them. Um, but he didn't have any ideas about what to do with his goods because I think he was automatically assuming that his goods were coming with them. Yet, check out the change in what's going on. It's like, what is going on right now is what you were right away telling that fool to have be the situation, Bogart. Okay, so he's just stopped. Wow, takes the water and spits it out. Is it, like, hot and not good? Oh, look at how he's gonna give it to him. Look at the I, oh, okay, yeah, no, he's gonna flip out. <laughs> Dobbs, what was in your head is you were gonna have the old man's possessions in your care? And you were hoping you wouldn't see him again. 
Okay, it looks like it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, that's not what he said. Okay, curtain. In that way, why does he need to stay? Okay, this is the best scene in the movie. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his hair. Look how fluffed out his hair is. His hair is styled. Oh. Well, that's what you were... Okay. You thought these things instantly. Oh! Okay, he did just figure this out. Where did you ever grow up? Look at his hair. <laughs> oh, there goes curtain. Integrity. No. Okay. In the wilderness. Okay. Yeah. What? Look at his hair. Look at his little afro. Oh, okay. Here you go. You take it out of the chamber, too? Huh? Yeah, well, full. Yeah. Great thought. Great thought. <laughs> well. <laughs> right. Oh, he's gonna start laughing harder. I like the way how quick he always can do math. <laughs> Ew! Okay, so now they're just on a sleep strike. Oh, yeah, he's not quite cut out for it. In the heat like that, too. Look at him, look at him. 
<laughs> He's getting ready to hit him with the stick. Oh, his gun? <gasps> the butt of his gun. Wake up, curtain, curtain, curtain. Does he laugh? then watch they're gonna sh shoot over to Dobbs he has some type of assistance because he's not in the same predicament no does or whatever <laughs> look, look at what they've done to his eyes huh yeah the body can only go so long without sleep without assistance Oh, he was in great shape still. He was on his haunches, huh? He just stood right up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is he going to kick him or something? He just took his gut, yeah. Does he have him by the hair? Oh, really? Yours, mine, and his. He's made of this, right? Because he said to the old man, what, are you not up for firing your pistol on the count of three? Since I did the spoiler alert for it, that's it was sometime last year. Oh. This quickly is he already not there? That's where he thought he left him. Oh, he is there. <gasps> Look at his hair. He's tripping so hard, huh? <laughs> so he really does talk to himself. Wow, he's just tucking in after he did this. He's going to bury him in the morning. did take those hits at point blank range but it didn't take him out this I thought the fire didn't give much heat I don't this is a bad transition this would keep the movie from winning the best picture that is <laughs> digging that's not him already oh. this is back at the old man's camp there they are with their little hook things wow curtain has crawled 
the 45 miles <laughs> to where the old man is staying that he was going to need a horse to catch back up to them in like two days. And Curtin just crawled the whole way there. Oh, so he's packing everything up first. Now he's about to try and go dig his hole. What's his problem? Oh, um, a little jumpy. Wet tiger. Have they encountered a tiger so far? What if his eyes were open looking at me? He didn't have the stomach for that. This dude. Okay, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because, um, the answer is no. Oh, so now he's running over there to go get started. Okay, that was, uh, Max Steiner, that was a little off too. It was not necessary. I mean, he was looking at the ground for too long for that music to have lasted that long. Oh, really? What do you expect him to answer you? <laughs> Bogart. Was he nominated for this? Because Houston wins Best Supporting Actor. He would have gotten a nomination for Best Actor. He needed it for this. Oh, really? <laughs> for what tiger? The tiger dragged him off to his lair. Where is the lair? Oh, gosh. He's evil, uh, he's evil. So thank goodness, is this not a resort? The spoiler alert people, this is a resort. What is that, a guava? Some type of a tropical fruit, oh look. What does he say they've um, upgraded him to? He's the whole entire like, judiciary, the whole entire judicial branch of their government. saying curtain yeah 
he had no reasoning. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, he's got a little bit more in him than an honest man. I fell when I was in preschool, hurt my arm, my grandma made me a little sling. Oh. Yeah, no, he's coming, hmm. He's still alive, he's coming, yeah. Cause she might not speak Spanish. He's got one good arm. Oh. Now, why is that what's going on? It Did Bogart do that to the little thing? <laughs> I love this, dude. He gives so... He is committed to the role, dude. Boy, he'd be on the ground when he needs to be. <laughs> Look at how dirty and just... Heat um, stroked out that he is. Oh, I love it. I love it. He's committed to a fall when he needs to. <laughs> Look at how close. Look at how close he is to this place. How far is that? Did I say it right in the spoiler alert? <laughs> Ew. No, that should not be the thought process. Polio. Ew. People, you can't be that thirsty, though. Okay, what he's doing to his dome, possibly, but... Ew. <laughs> Just all the way around disgusting. I like this shot. Wait, are we gonna see the ooh? Whoever this is, they are right up on him, yes. He's in a bad position to whoever this is. Oh, it's the sombrero. Huh? Look at his busted sombrero though. Um, look at them. Because it's just right there, though. So this is the scene where I'm talking about the hygiene in this experience is non-existent. I don't know, some place. Um, well, you have been understanding that you know him since he was head in the water. Oh. Oh, really? Really? Okay. 
Okay. Look and go see if you see somebody coming up on horseback. Oh, okay. That story doesn't really make sense. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Really? You have friends now all of a sudden? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, huh. Uh-oh. Doesn't he... No, he has no... Um... Why does he not have a weapon? Is it on the burrow? Where is his gun? He left the gun that he shot Cotton with, Curtain, whatever, on him. But he should have still had one. Okay. Ooh. And does the, what's the matter with the gun? Yeah, well, why are you in this predicament with this gun? What a way to go. That they were concerned with is his boots. They think he just has hides. So they think the value is his hides on these burrows. That's how close he was. That's, he, if he would have just not stopped at that nasty unhealthy water look at how close there's the gold dust sand they see that oh he has all of the gold had the old man's curtains his and here they come just a bit too late is this where they very first started jeffatura this dude oh the little boy he don't like what he sees right away. So they are just trying, look at the boy. Checking out each one of these. So yeah, it's their little branding mark. That, that's like the brand of this village, yes, Jeffator Municipal. So he knows that these are burrows that they have sold that are coming back to them to be sold back to them, and that's a problem. Is that Bogart's hat too? How come the old man isn't noticing his own brand on these burrows?
cafe. Did I hear underlight? Dígame. Patron. Oh, there's a problem. No es bueno. Okay. The heat. He said something about, you're saying that these aren't my bu bureaus, burrows, and that we're bandits. I could tell that much. And check out this dude. Look at him. Look at him. Look, look at him. It wasn't necessary just for his own legacy. I wouldn't have done that scene. Hey, calor, how hot it is. Well, it does not matter how hot it is. What are you digging? That should be your only concern. So they don't necessarily have like a sense of urgency to understand that Dobbs is no longer with us. Oh, here comes this norther. Are things, are things. Piscina is not his office. Piscina is like a um, swimming pool in French, I think. Oh, the little boy. He's going to say a lot, huh? And then he's going to tell him, like, two words. Okay. He needs a little chapstick. <laughs> okay, here they go, right? In the ruins. Um, well, the ruins are, like, outside of the fence of this little municipal. Look at how hard they're riding away to go to the ruins, and they gotta go through a norther and stuff. Um, this is, it was not that far away that they did away with him. He, he there was not this ride away from where Dobbs is no longer with us, right? And here's this norther out of nowhere. So, yeah, the gold is getting into the four directions. <laughs> the far places. I mean, it's, it's thoroughly gone. Back to the mountain. Or are they going to have the nerve to be able to find some of the little bags of And all of this gale force wind, they're going to find some of the little bags right where um, those fools dumped it out. 
Okay, I'm glad they're showing the bag moving. <laughs> oh, so as long as they're finding the bags, huh, that's what these fools think that's all they're looking for. Are they going to find all of their bags? Here's another one. Huh? Like, here you go. This is what you're looking for, right? These empty bags. <laughs> the old man. <laughs> Ten months. Oh, damn. says he's the whole entire oh he's the legislature Wow. <clears throat> Peaches. Is this the very end? I feel like they show the ground or something as the very last scene. That's cool. I didn't know that Walter Houston um, ever won an Oscar. Because this has to be towards the very end of his career. Of course, he's in um, Rain with Joan Crawford. That one's in the public domain, totally free, multiple places here on YouTube. And I feel like that's like 1930, very early. He's a lot younger in that movie. The end. Oh, we have out credits. We got Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, okay, so if he would have been nominated, he's the main top billing he would have been nominated for best actor Cody is Bruce Bennett okay he's Joan Fontaine's husband Joan Fontaine Joan Crawford's husband in Mildred Pierce okay alrighty then the, the next movie was automatically starting I'll just save out for you guys to help with knowing how to push play um so yeah uh, yay, we got one in for the week. Like and subscribe. Um, we will see you soon. Bye-bye.
Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.